Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my go-to fall makeup look, which is this right here. So if you want to see how I get this look, then keep on watching and let's get into the video. Before I start, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. I'm not a makeup artist, nor do I claim to be. I literally just love playing with makeup and I'm sure I'm doing a lot of things wrong, but yeah. Okay, so first I start off by applying a moisturizer. This is my favorite one and it's the Kale Detox by Pacifica. It honestly smells like grass, but it makes my skin super soft and hydrated. I also use the Morio Badescu Rose Water Spray as an extra layer of hydration because my skin has been getting dry lately. My next step is to conceal. I use it under my foundation because it's too light for my skin tone right now and I just find that it blends th way better that way. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan, and I also use this to cover the redness around my nose, darkness by my lips, and any other blemishes I may have. Then I just use my Knock Off Beauty Blender that I got at Forever 21, and dab, 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 you get the idea. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation in the shade 330 Toffee Caramel. I really like this foundation because it's super easy to use, but it is a bit too light for me at the moment, if you can see that. And once again, I'm just blending it out with a makeup sponge. Now I'm just gonna set my face with the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder in the shade Soft Honey. Oh yeah, and I'll list all the products I use in the description bar down below if, you, if I go through them too fast for you. Now that my skin is pretty much done, let's move on to the brows. I like to brush them out first to get out any foundation I might have gotten in them. Now my brows are pretty thick so I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas with a dark brown shadow and lately I've been using the one in the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. Once that's done, I just quickly brush them out again and then you're done. Moving on to the eyes, I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime of course. Oh, I'm also going to prep my lips for a matte lip by applying this plumping gloss from Soap & Glory. Next, I'll be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and the first shade I'll be using is Tempera all over the lids. Next, I'm going to mix Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna on the same brush, and I'm going to put it all over my lids, but only up to my crease. Next, I'm going to take the super bright orange color in the palette Real Gar and pack it onto the outer third of my eye and into the crease all the way into the inner corner. I absolutely love this shade for fall. It just looks so good on any skin tone. Then I'm gonna pick up a bit of burnt orange on a blending brush and blend out real gar a little. Next, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and apply the shade Cypress Umber to the outer third of my eye, focusing most of it on the outer V. Next, I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to use the gold eyeshadow in the Carly by Bell Original Palette and pack it onto the inside half of my lid below the crease. Honestly, I'm not a fan of the matte shades in this palette. They're not super pigmented, but I love the shimmer shades and the highlights so much. They're so beautiful by themselves or combined, and they're also super pigmented. Now I'm just taking some of my finger just to make it even more shimmery and I'm just going to go back in with a little of that brown shade to blend it with the gold so that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm taking the orange shade again and I'm applying it along my whole lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with the dark brown shade and I'm just going to apply it to the outer corner of my lower lash line so that it meets up with the brown on my lid just to bring the whole eye look together. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in with one of the shimmer shades in the palette called Primavera and just lightly pack it on. Next, I'm going to go in with my ASOS liquid eyeliner and create a wing. And my camera died. Also, I just want to apologize for the lighting situation here. The sun was literally bright in my eyes, so I had to close my curtains. Anyways, back to the liner. As you can see, I'm not a beauty guru and I require two hands to apply the liner. Now that that's done, I'm also applying bottom liner, which also requires two hands for me. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Align. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes like usual, and I'm going to apply the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. 
So first I like to have a mirror below me and look down while applying this. I think I saw Jaclyn Hill do this in a tutorial once and I've been doing it ever since because I feel like it just lifts your lashes better. And then I put another layer like how I usually would. I was gonna put on lashes today but then I realized I'm actually terrible at applying lashes so we're going to skip that. Next, I'm going to lightly contour using my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee and an e.l.f. shader brush. No wait, it's a blush brush. Blush brush. Sorry. I'm going to lightly contour my cheeks and my forehead and my nose. Now I'm going to remove the gloss I put on earlier with some micellar water because it's time for lips. So I'm going to be using a ColourPop Liquid Matte Lip in the shade More Better. This is literally the most beautiful berry shade I've ever seen, but as you can see, I'm trying to be super cautious while applying it because it will stain your lips. And that's it. Here's the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.